That's why it's time we all made sacrifices. I have a four-year-old daughter and a two-year-old son. How can I teach my kids to stand up against injustice and be righteous when I can't do it myself? I have a nine-to-five office job and a degree in law. How can I live comfortably and sleep peacefully when drones and ammunition and weapons are being built on our doorsteps? There is no place for companies like Elbit here. We will not allow them to profit from bloodshed and killing of innocent children. We will not allow them to get away without any accountability. I just want to end with a message to people from my community, the Muslims up and down the country, but mainly my Kashmiri brothers and sisters. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whosoever of you sees an evil action, let him change it with his hand. And if he is not able to do so, then with his tongue. And if he is not able to do that, then with his heart. And that is the weakest of faith. My question is, are we that weak in faith that we can't raise our hands against, against the mother of all evils, the murdering and slaughter of children? We can't raise our voices against international war crimes, the bombing of the most densely populated place in the world. Brothers and sisters, we need to wake up and take action. Get in contact with Palestine Action, reach out on your socials, and we need to get organized to bring change. Thank you. Jazakallah.